to see what's oh someone says darling knock knock <laughs> and I'll respond later saying who's there no does anyone else besides moi have an iPhone an iPod or an iPod no 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 an iPod touch or an iPad and do you have, do you have like the Facebook app and how we recently upgraded it like I did today um the new changes are weird I don't know if I like them or not it's like when you try to like chat with someone or someone chats with you you have like a bubble over in the corner it's like a circle and there is their like picture and if like they say something a number pops up like meaning there's one message or however many messages and then you click on it to open it and then if more than one person's talking you have like all these I call them bubbles but they're like circles like all these like circles and you just gotta like like you just like move them around and touch them and type to people and I'm just like what the hell and then I just I'm like how do I get out of here if I want to see the main feed what do I do what do I do and then like I figured it figured it out earlier and then I'm like how did I do that and then I figured it again figured it out again later you just kind of want to like like okay so let's say there's like bubbles 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 you just kind of want to click over here and then it'll like go to the main feed but it'll say like bubbles bubbles and you don't want sorry you can't understand me and you don't want like um you don't want to see it or you don't chat with the person or they log it off you just gotta drag it below to the then this little like X appears and you drag it to the X and then it goes poof bye bye poof is it all you tell him I said hey yeah I did okay mm -hmm. um I'm like everyone's therapist, really. Like people, y'all need to get your own therapy sometimes. Um, no, but I, the one thing I love about it is they have this new feature. It's called stickers, where you can send like a giant smiley face. Like you know those little smiley faces and hearts and things, those big ones. And then I downloaded it for free, like two more or maybe three, yeah, three. Two different kinds of cats, and one that was supposed to be like a bunny rabbit, but it looks really like a little dribble mouse thing it's gross I don't like it but the two cats things because at first I just saw the one cat and I'm like this is cool and then the other cat ones I have they're animated it's animated little kitty and you could like have it like type it doing all these cute stuff so I'm like sending me things left and right and I'm like I'm gonna still be bugging someone they be like what's all this cat stuff these cat like stickers that's the only thing y'all that I like about it otherwise I don't know if it's like any easier to like if they're trying to make it easier for you to keep up with multiple conversations different people or what I legit like don't know and I, d I don't know if I like it or not yet it's to be determined but I was just wondering if anybody else knows what I'm talking about and if you have any thoughts feelings opinions concerns questions comments because I'm curious um I don't really see the need for it quite frankly but maybe there's a method to Facebook's madness. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, I obviously, we've, if you may know me well enough, you know that I'm a giver. And I love getting people presents and making people happy and helping people out. Um, if I, because like, if you tell me, it's like we're good friends or whatever, we work together. I don't know, somehow I know you well enough, and, um, you tell me something about yourself, like, I will remember it. If you're like, oh, my favorite color is, like, rainbow, and I see a rainbow, I would buy you a rainbow and give it to you, and be like, ta-da, just because I care, and you're cool, right? Um, so, you can, like, like, I probably talked about this before, and I'm gonna talk about it again. Like, the big, like, beauty gurus or big, like, YouTubers, um, they have, like, P.O. boxes, so you can send them letters and, like, little trinkets, and I'm, like, again, call obsessed with this one, this one person, and I, um, like, I want to become her friend, like, pen pals, like, I want to, like, have a rapport, going back and forth with, like, letters and like, gifts and all this loveliness, and so I'm like, I have to reach out because she doesn't like unless she sees a comment that I put on her video. She doesn't know me from 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 Adam, right? 
So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to make her, like, a goodie bag or something. And send it to her with, like, a lovely, 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 beyond lovely letter. And, do I have it? And then, um, pardon me as I'm, like, looking around. I want to see there's an envelope. I don't know, she says... Uh, whatever. She says if you send her an envelope with your letter that's, like, addressed or at least has, like, stamp on it, um, that she'll write back to you. So I was like, yeah, yay, woohoo, thumbs it up, baby. Um, but no, I noticed this trend yesterday night on YouTube where, like, other, either beauty gurus or YouTubers, I don't know, people that are good with makeup, um, there's a new thing that I've noticed is they're doing like a makeup tutorial inspired by blah blah so the first because i think i saw earlier someone said like a um a makeup tutorial inspired by talia joy 18 and i'm like is this talia is this someone else like huh what did like i was like so baffled by it and it kind of intrigued me but not really so i was like whatever but then i saw another one that said like makeup tutorial inspired by graveyard girl so i was like hmm and it looked pretty dang interesting so it was like creepy like looking and, and i was like what just looking at the um thumbnail that's what it's called thumbnail so um i'm like again does this person associated with graveyard girl like graveyard girl do this like what the like what like what i want to know so um, I'm like, does Bunny even know that this person is doing a makeup tutorial based off of her? Like, really? So, the girl starts talking, and she had, like, a, I don't know if it was British or Australian accent. It sounded like a mix. I couldn't make it out, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I don't think she's American. And she just was, like, giving a shout-out, and it's like, if you haven't subscribed... Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> oh my god. Um people people are telling you to get go go talk to a professional. Um anyway. So, um and giving her a shout out and was like saying that like oh like Bunny and I we were like really good like internet friends and they became like kinda like pen pals. Sorry Mitchie. We became they became like pen pals and they like send each other things and like letters and like Bunny wanted these like holographic um like Halloween I guess themed glasses and this girl found them about about the village value village village you know like a thrift store like a, a consignment shop type thing and I bought them and was gonna send them to her and I'm just like, wow, like that is so what I want. So I started going on Amazon and making like a list of things like, oh, like oh, this, 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 and putting it in my cart and delicious filler. And then I'm saving up my money and I'm going to buy it and put it all together nice and beautifully and a letter, which I should probably start like, start the letter now so I can like, make it long and lovely and like perfect all the spelling errors and the grammar grammatical errors i most likely will be typing this letter because i have dysgraphia so my handwriting is horrible um but anyway so it's like the more i learn about her when i watch her videos it's just like oh like i love the color lavender i'm like oh she looks purple now i gotta find purple stuff now i gotta find studded stuff now i gotta find Ooh, things where you can drink a like a travel mug with a straw. I'm like all these things that's like her that's in her video or that she talks about or she likes. That's not like a thousand bazillion dollars. <laughs> I'm trying to stay like each item. I'm trying to stay under twelve dollars, but I have enough items now where the total lump sum is like a lot, and I'm just like Mallory. You need to go through some of these things and get rid of them.
You can't get, you can't buy her the whole world. You can't know. So I'm like obviously got rid of a lot of stuff, and I'm just like, is this really necessary? But then part of like some things I'm like, no, it's probably a waste of money, too big, or another time, or that can wait, or maybe that'd be a, like I don't know. It could go either way. This item she could totally love, or maybe be slightly offended by. I don't know. So because I'm unsure, let's remove it from the list. And then it's just like. Is this even a necessary item? But I'm like, it's a dollar. How can you pass up something that's a dollar or less than a dollar? That's something that she would probably really enjoy. So, um, I'm like, who wouldn't, like, have fun with something like that? So, that's what I've been kind of doing in my time. But I've just been on, like, Amazon. And I'm just, like, on the app on my phone. I got the Amazon app on my phone. But then, obviously... You get a whole lot more when you're on the computer. Because, like, if you go on the app, it'll be, like, electronics or whatever, you know, you're looking up. It'll say, like, 2,342. And then you click and you may be see, like, 50, 75 items. I don't know. Right? And then, I'm um, like, you go on the computer and you go on Amazon.com. Everything's there. Every last single one item is there. So I'm like, ooh, you get more of an option that way. And I'm like, oh no, I'm going to be like going crazy over here. So, um, yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm like saving up my money. I'm trying to like, I don't know, do little jobs and things. Be like, hey, mommy, what can I do for you today that you'll pay me? And then if my dad gives me research projects, I'll be like, yeah, for money, oh. how do you like that, it's just like, and then, like, I, oh, oh my gosh, like, my, my thing now that I'm like, that I'm just like battling with is, you see her hair, doesn't look like this now. Her hair is naturally blonde, but then she like dyed it like so like black and blonde, and that's like kind of tricky because you want like something that kind of protects the color. So you want like a color protecting like shampoo and all that stuff. And she says she doesn't use a conditioner because she doesn't like it, and she really wants to, like keep the black dark but the blonde really really light. So it's hard to use two different products, and I'm just like thinking, really, you don't use a conditioner, and she's like, I know it's terrible, but she hates to feel of conditioner in her hair, so I was like, oh, well, I have this perfect product, I use it, it's cleansing shampoo, so it's kind of, it's a shampoo, but it makes your hair, like, ultra soft, but I'm like, she is gonna need that protection of, like, um, because, you know, her hair is color treated, so then I'm like, I have this brand that I love, and it's sulfate-free, and has like all the bad stuff for your hair is like totally not you know not um in the shampoo itself so and one was like hydrating and one was strengthening so now I'm like ooh I wanna look and see if they got travel size I wanna get a shampoo I'm like yeah but I don't know I'm going overboard and I don't know if anyone cares about this story or not but I feel like vlogging about it so, there you have it. That's my story. Okay. So, I'm going to go see what people want from me. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep it quirky.